What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. Golden. Yeah, we are. Ladies and gentlemen, creating a setup. Yeah, hell yeah. Hey. Yes. How are we all doing? Howdy, howdy. I'm not doing too shabby. How about yourself? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you guys for coming on. And uh, please kindly introduce yourself, plug and promote anything and everything. Okay, so I'm Derek. I'm the vocalist. Um, and I'm here to promote Jay-Z microphones because they're fantastic. And W Energy Drink because they are also fucking fantastic. Um, um, I'm Luna. I'm the drummer for Creating a Center. Um, plug in anything. I'm not quite sure off the top of my head, but I mean, for plugging my Instagram, that is LK underscore DSLR 19. And you, Ryan? Hi, I'm Ryan. <laughs> I'm the bass player. I don't have anything to promote. I just exist. <laughs> Derek, are you, are you sponsored by an energy drink company? No, endorsed, not sponsored. <laughs> Actually, I think they do call it sponsored, but it might as well just be endorsed. Uh, but yeah, it's it's W Energy. It's a it's a powdered energy drink. You just put it right in water, shake it up in a nice little shaker or something, and it's like top tier, top of the line, best energy drink on the market right now. Hell yeah, that is awesome. Way to way to plug them. Genuinely, part is somebody who smokes a whole bunch and somebody with like severe ADHD and like none of the other stuff works. Like it generally it cuts through. It's fantastic. That is awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, I, first thing I want to ask is uh, earlier today, I had noticed that none of the new stuff is on your Spotify channel. Why, why is that? So all of the new songs that I just posted. So the three new songs that we dropped recently, those are all recorded with the previous members um so i just wanted to make those like out into the world and get those like as established songs you know with those members so that they still get the credit for them in the world for it but i wanted to re-record those songs with these guys as we're going to be you know taking a, a little bit of a different direction with the way we're playing the music and our new sound here um so once we get all that recorded it'll be put out onto spotify you know apple music all the good stuff how did you how did you meet Ryan and Luna uh, and then how did you know that they were the ones as far as joining the band? Uh, Facebook. <laughs> uh, well, he met me through Facebook through uh, one of the local scene groups. Uh, I had just moved up to Buffalo from another town about an hour and a half away and I was looking to get back into music because uh, I'd been taking a bit of a hiatus and I met him through that group and um, through the same Facebook post that I made, I also joined another band with other members and luna was the drummer in that band and that band kind of fell apart so i brought her into creating a center okay cool and then i know that i know that uh vertigo child is like really good friends of, of you guys is that just because of like locally jamming together all the time or or was there band members that also uh you know you used to play in this band and then vertigo child also played in that same band is that is it one of those stories I mean, Buffalo's got a small scene, so we all kind of know each other. Um, we we played alongside Vertigo Child before. I'm in another band, and that band has played a show with him. Um, I have have former bandmates that were in Vertigo Child for a time. Like we, we all know each other. We all play at the same bars. It's it's a pretty tight-knit scene here. Hell yeah. I've known... So Vertigo Child's name is Frank, not to dox him. Just, just to be frank with you guys. Hey, Frank. Uh, <laughs> So his name is Frank. I've known him for like 10 years. Uh, we very recently, right before he went to move to Nashville, he almost ended up working with me uh, at a company right before we moved. Um, so now he's living down in Nashville and we're, you know, trying to stay close still. He's a good dude. Luna, who who made you want to pick up drumsticks when you were younger? Like what artist or album? Um, It was actually kind of funny for a while. I wasn't really sure I wanted to do music at all, but... um. After I started hearing some of the drumming from um, Bob Breyer and My Chemical Romance, along with um, Josh Dunn and 21 Pilots, like those guys' sound and vibe really inspired me to start picking up drums. And then after I heard them for a while, I decided to go for it. And it's been four and a half years since. <laughs> it's been. <laughs> Same question for you, Ryan, but obviously for a different instrument. 
For bass, yeah, right. Well, actually, uh, m- music kind of runs in the family. Uh, my uncle's a bass player, and he's been playing in cover bands all over Buffalo for longer than I've been alive. So I kind of picked it up through him and uh, got my start playing in uh, the, the school pit band for school musicals of all places. Um, I, I was always a band nerd back in school. That's cool. Nothing wrong with being so a band nerd. I've been playing bass for about, I think, 15 years now. Hell yeah, that's awesome. That is wicked cool. And, and Derek, one more question before we get to some trivia stuff and have, let's have some fun. We, I feel like, I always feel like you have like a really unique vocal style of how you like can channel your emotions and energy into your melodies. Can you can you walk me through how a sinner song is created from start to finish? Yeah, so you have to be raised without love. All right. Um, <laughs> 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 okay. uh, so honestly most of what it is it, I will come up with just some sort of topic or you know idea or a single line or something um, and then I'll build a melody around that and then we'll build you know guitar and then now I bring it to these guys and they're able to build their own parts into it um, but really it just it, it comes from one single thought and then I try to you know put as much of like my soul my heart my emotion into it as possible because like uh, i don't go to therapy um and like <laughs> music is therapy a lot of times though that's the thing music is therapy uh, at the end of the day it, it's always been my escape for it so that's you know i love that, that that's what awesome. i use it for get out there put you know my heart my soul into it and uh shout about dinosaurs and you know you can hear it and, and shout out shout out to raul as well but you can hear it in in the music for real. Um, I was told that you guys brought some some infused liquor today. Whoa, what are all those little thingies at the bottom? Those are all peppers. Uh, those yeah, those are peppers I grew in my garden. They look like they look actually... like little like rigatoni pastas at the bottom. <laughs> no, they're. Uh... They're Thai chilies. They used to be red and green, but they've that they've been stewing in there all winter, and it took all the color out of them. All right. Well, should we should we have some fun and play a game? <laughs> Do you want to yeah, play a good. game? I'll get this shot ready. The cool thing about about the trivia part, and, and Derek, you already know because you see all of these all the time. But um, you guys get to pick a movie or TV show that you've seen so many times. If you could agree on one or the other, I'm gonna look up trivia and try to stump you. Um, regardless of whether you get it right or wrong. I'm going to take a shot of whiskey with hot sauce in it to try and be level with you. So we're, so it's completely fair. But could you pick a movie or a TV show that I can't stump you? There's just no way because you've seen it so many times. Remember, all three of you can like go put your heads together before you guess. So you you have the advantage. Do you guys want to decide my favorite? I don't watch a lot of TV, man. Yeah, I'll help you the best I can. But... Movies are easier. Movies like yeah, one no, movie we'll... versus like, you know, 70 episodes and I can pick anything from an episode. Uh, to me, a movie's an easier option, but your call. Let's go fucking Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, I haven't even watched Yeah, that, me man. neither. Oh. <laughs> you still want to go with it? You want to know how... Yeah, we're going to go with it. I didn't, I didn't dare. Yeah, Too late. it's all there. It is what it is now. Okay. Napoleon Dynamite. I, I need a second to look up trivia on that. But uh, uh, just a couple of, sure. of obvious questions to keep promoting the band. But tell me, t- Matt, walk me through like what's going on in 2024 for you guys. What can we look forward to? Is there, is there, obviously there's more music in the works. I know we kind of touched on that, but what can, what can we talk about in, in that avenue? Um, a, a big goal that I've always had for any band that I'm ever in. I, I, I really want to get on an album and do a vinyl pressing. That's been like my dream in music. So I've been pushing these two really hard to finish out an album this year. We want to take the three that were already released on YouTube obviously we record my parts and Luna's parts and I'm working on two new songs that haven't seen the light of day yet right now. 
I know Derek's working on one. I hear Luna's working on one too. Yeah. So we're going to try really hard to get an album out. But we also have we'll another see. three in the works about to go into the studio here very soon. Like a yeah. different a different three than the three we released. So yeah. by the time 2024 is over, we're hoping to have a whole album, but we can't promise that just yet. Do you have a a, very... a, a particular like producer in mind? Somebody in this in the area? Are you going to travel to go that route, or is it DIY? Yeah, we actually do have a producer. He's actually a really good friend of mine and a bandmate in my other band, Star Theory. Uh, his name's uh, Zach Neff. He runs Neff Audio Productions in Niagara Falls. Uh, he's an awesome producer and a great guy to work with. And I definitely, anyone in the Buffalo area should definitely check him out. Who has the best wings in, in, your, in your city? Uh, that- Wing nuts. That's a tough one. It's, I've heard no, that before. I've heard this answer before, and like, I've never been there. They genuinely sell out every single day by 2 p.m. Oh like, how can your wings have to be good to sell out by 2 p.m. every day? That's all I'm saying. Wing they nuts? Wing sauce. nuts? That's what it's called? N-U-T-Z. Yep. Okay. Wing nuts. So Wing- next time I'm in Buffalo, I, I got to go there at, like, 8 a.m. and just eat. Everybody's going to argue, don't go to Anchor Bar. Uh, <laughs> don't do it. It's not. I'll, I'm gonna it. do a wing hopping night if if I do venture out there. But it's time to stump you guys on some trivia. <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite, you got to pick. Napoleon claims that yep. he spent time with his uncle in Alaska hunting wolverines. What kind of gun did he supposedly use when hunting the wolverines in Alaska? Freaking musket. That is not correct. No. <laughs> that is not correct. He says a freaking 12 gauge. What do you think? Don't worry, I'm doing yeah, there's, there's there is hot sauce in in this shot. I promise. Cheers for being a good sport. I love the Pink there, Floyd. There's, no, there's significantly less tequila in that bottle now. You can do it. Let's do it. I'll drink. What, you, what is it? Is it, is it good? Is it spicy? Give me some details. Mine wasn't too bad. Oh, it's it's spicy. I tried a little bit of it before. They're hot peppers. <laughs> <laughs> it's creeping. It's creeping. Do you, uh, Derek? Do you have any unique like vocal warm up techniques or tricks that you could share with with somebody that wants to start experimenting with vocals? Yeah, don't fucking do that. Uh, <laughs> uh, honestly, where I always started was genuinely like as loud as you can possibly make your voice go. Just do that. So if you can like just ah! real fucking loud and like stretch your voice out, like stretch your fucking vocal cords out, um, you'll start to gain a little more control over them um at least that's how i found and that's how i like started out is trying to express like my voice out and as loud as possible while also like obviously not when i'm talking but when i'm singing it's a whole different feel i'm sure like most people notice the the different energy coming out of my mouth when i'm singing um but that's really where i started was just as loud as you possibly can be just make that noise fucking practice holding on to that and like that's just warming up my voice at least um that's what you do backstage before, before a gig you just ah! yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well usually whatever works i mean that's way, cool I, I ride solo so that way nobody else can like witness it but yeah no that's 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 me <laughs> on the way <laughs> i just yeah i mean i can dig it for sure hell yeah uh, I noticed you had a, a, I think a THC pen in the beginning of this interview. Yeah. Hybrid sativa sure. indica. What's what's your preference? So, I pre- <laughs> we discussed the ADHD. So, indicas like give me a lot of energy, so I prefer the indicas. Uh, but this is a hybrid. Cool. I'm kind of like I'd just smoke it all. Like if if it's like nighttime, then I'll prefer uh, you know like I'm talking like in my house in the jams, ready to go to bed. Obviously indica, but uh, 
most of the time it doesn't really bother me too bad. But I want to do one more trivia. We got to stump you again. Do you want to pour it up one more time? Maybe uh, Ryan or Luna goes for it this Oh, there you go, Ryan. Way to be a sport. Let's go. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. All right. So uh, he, he's this is a, he's counting on you, Derek. He's counting on you. Here we go. In Napoleon Dynamite, Kip sees an ad for Rex Kwon Do. He sees this on TV and Napoleon uh, and has Napoleon pull him into town for a free demonstration. Do you recall how much Rex Kwon Do is for the eight week course? Oh, I remember every single thing about that scene because who doesn't want to get roundhouse kicked in the face with these bad boys on? Exactly. How much is the course? Probably something stupid like sixty nine ninety nine, but it wasn't. I don't know, fucking like nineteen ninety nine for eight weeks. Oh, eight weeks? Yeah, let's let's do it. It was probably something stupid like seventy nine something. I'm sorry, Ryan. <laughs> enjoy enjoy the shot. The answer is three hundred dollars. Three hundred. Three hundred dollars. We were able to six, yeah, dude, successfully man. pull off the stump. <laughs> Yeah, that's all that was left. Do you want to do it? Not really. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys have any um any plans to on, on the album that's coming out? Um, I'm just gonna say maybe uh winter time of next year or fall of next year or this year, excuse me. Um, any plans for for features uh on, on the album or just want to keep it all all center? So actually, the guy that we're recording through. He briefly came to a few band practices and brought a song to us. Um, and that's going to be one of the songs that we're going to end up recording. Um, so it's going to be pretty much 100% featuring him. Uh, and then, you know, with Sinner on it for the most part. But that's going to get put on the album. And then uh, we're definitely down for more collaborations. If anybody wants to fucking write some music with us, we're, and, you know, we're available. All right. But they're there. No, we, they're open. We didn't have planned as of yet, besides with Zach, um, that I'm aware of. I know he he has another buddy that we want to get put on something that uh, does a little bit of some rap. So we'll we'll see where we go. With okay, that. cool. That'd be kind of a different different angle to go. That I can dig that. Uh, Chat want me, wants me to to bring up the fact that uh, you guys have some really cool merch, and the only Sinners T-shirt is popping right now on on the uh, the Shopify. Oh yeah, yeah. The only the only center shirt has been doing very well since we put that out. That was uh, so we have a fan chat. Anybody who likes the band, um, you don't have to be like a top fan on the page or anything of that nature. If you like the band, you can hop into our fan chat. It's uh, it's just a group chat on Facebook where we just bounce ideas off of our fans. We you know shoot the shit. A lot of times things get a little weird, uh, but <laughs> we you know, we we keep it light. We keep it fun and. For the most part, you know, it's uh, it's a really like behind the scenes look at the band. We're you know, we're bouncing, you know, hey, we wanted to we wanted to mess around and do a couple covers. They chose uh, "Wrecking Ball" by Miley Cyrus. <laughs> um, we actually hold on, let me go grab the pins. I was wondering why we played oh, that, no. played that yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what he's getting at is oh, yeah. that we voted in the band band chat because as a joke and just like the the band chat, Derek posted. Like a fake, uh, yeah, sinners. only Sinners logo, uh, Sinners hub, and then uh, like a Brazzers logo with that <laughs> font, but with uh, creating a Sinner. And everyone voted on only Sinners for the T-shirt that we were gonna make, but we still made the other one of his pins. Yeah, I got That's a awesome. got a Sinner hub here. Oh, those are cool. So, <laughs> so those will be available. So if you watch so, porn and you know. listen to music, then creating Sinners for you, hundred percent. Hundred percent. So every live show, I make a joke saying, you know, you can find us anywhere online, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Pornhub, uh, <laughs> you know, and then, then usually make make a, a long list of it. So, you know, I, I I had to make a couple of them, you know, I think that's awesome. Whatever, but, whatever brings money into the band, you know, and then you guys could cycle into more gear or or, or more things to to fuel to fuel the band. That's that's all cool. And it's all fun and laughs. Uh, so more power to you. I appreciate that. Um, I, is there, is anyone in the band have like an unusual phobia, something that just freaks you out or scares you? 
Luna, what freaks you out? What freaks you out, Luna? <laughs> I see something coming to mind in your face. What's, what freaks you out? It's a bee. Like, just random bees. Like, if I just see, like, any sort of bee, like, near my, like, area, I don't know. It just gives me anxiety. No, I'm not allergic. It just, like, triggers some ancient have, anxiety like, in me. No, I don't have a good reason. It just happens. Same with, like, roller coasters, too. Like, I just can't My parents have a bee those. farm. Oh, my God, really? Yeah. <laughs> they really do have a bee farm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She saw honey. It's it's local honey in uh, western New York. Hell, yeah. That's awesome. Is it fire? I, like, I, I don't know it. anything about the honey game, but is it, like, is it, like, fire compared to, like, you know, just going to Seder Brothers uh, or Publix and just buying normal honey? It, in my opinion, and uh, a large amount of other Western New Yorkers, yes. Uh, according to my fiance, no. Um, <laughs> but don't tell my mom I said that. <laughs> but to, to most people, yes. For sure. Um, uh, I'll have to try it sometime. That'd be awesome. That's that's cool. They have a bee farm. Yeah. And, and it's ironic that, that Luna is for, will probably I never, do. ever visit that that farm. I'll send you <laughs> I'll, I'll, an Only Sinner shirt, too. I'll send you an Only Sinner shirt and some honey. Uh, cause I feel like those go together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Perfect. That's a perfect combo. I'll rock the only center shirt all the time and I'll work, I'll work some honey into the tortures and stuff. Uh, Ryan, what, yeah. what, what freaks you out? Are you scared of anything? Uh, not with it, not without getting really existential. <laughs> Elaborate. Well, give us, give us the short, the short, but detailed version. My biggest fear is extinction and knowing that, like, one day the last atom in the universe is going to wither away into nothing and that everything the human race has ever worked for is going to be all for nothing in the grand scheme of things. So we're yeah. playing a lot more emo music. <laughs> okay, so on this is like an odd, odd conversation where, you know, we're going to make it short, a short version. Do you think there's ever the ability, because I've actually thought about stuff like this before too, do you think there's ever the ability that like an Elon Musk could send a satellite through a black hole that could like contain the internet and everything that it encompasses so when this atom does pop, we still exist? Because he transferred the memory I, somewhere I def else. I definitely believe in the concept of other realities parallel to this one and yeah, they're being technology out oh yeah <laughs> there's definitely going to be some technology that we discover in the future that allows us to pass between other realities like i feel That's like the human existence is just way too profound for it to end as simply as it does it's fair i'll take it i'll take it <laughs> derek finally how are you feeling how how is the heat going on in your mouth right now and uh, uh, what freaks you out the heat's good uh so like i just you know just heights uh that, that's really like you go on roller coasters or because like I, I i hate heights but I, i'm down yeah, with so, all the roller coasters hold on hold on let me rephrase i hate roller coasters but my son wants to go on so i go on roller coasters um and like the, the swings that fly around that are on like those janky chains. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh my those. god. Uh, you know what I mean? Like I, I'll do that for my kid, but like for any other reason, for the most part, like unless it's you, you know like, for work and you're gonna pay me for it, uh, I'm not doing it. Like just it's it's heights for me. Besides that, not not really a whole lot. Uh, I'm I'm kind of the same way. Like, well, uh, I, the thing that freaks me out about heights is if I'm like on an edge of like a tall building. Like I don't like looking over or like being close yeah, to no, the edge, no. but I'll, but I'll go on roller coasters for same reason, kids. Blah blah blah. Is there is there anything that we did not discuss today that you guys want to plug, promote, talk about, chat about real quick before we let you go? And I appreciate your time. Thank you for doing this. So we are playing a bunch of the, like little festivals within our community this year, but we are looking to branch out. If anybody runs any sort of venues anywhere around the United States. Hit us up. We'll talk to you. We're cheap. We'll play for uh, hot, <laughs> hot pepper infused tequila. I'll, 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 uh, I'll accept the payment at this point. So, <laughs> you know, uh, but besides that, you know, hey, uh, keep a lookout for some more uh, ridiculous merch designs coming out that will probably be limited runs before we get a cease and desist order. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've never gotten one. But, I've never gotten one for, for any corner of uh, 
copyright stealing of merch. So it's 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 unlikely, but it's possible. Hey, there's first time for everything, man. Yeah. <laughs> Make as much money as you can before that happens. That's what I say. I think that's the idea. Yeah. Everyone else is getting it. Well, yeah. it's true. Uh, well, well, Ryan, Derek, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, I was just saying I appreciate you for having us on. I was just trying to finish it. Oh, round you, that off. You guys rule, man. I, I'm excited about the album coming out. I hope that you can expand beyond Buffalo and get to get some more shows. That'd be awesome. And uh, keep selling as much merch as you can. Copyright every f***ing body. Who cares? Just, just, just do it until, like you said, someone says stop doing it. And then hopefully you have a mountain of, of gold behind you before that. But uh, my last thought, has anyone ever said that the Creating a Center logo kind of looks like the Anaheim Angels logo on the A with the halo on it? Nope. Uh, so I, I just made that. But uh, I mean, I, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I guess you have. <laughs> OK, there's one. There's one. But uh, yeah, you're the first one. That I'm out. a big I'm a big baseball fan. I know the Angels have an A with the with the halo on it. Just um, but it, but it's not doesn't look the same. So I don't think you know anyone will ever say anything. But you guys rule, man. Oh, so that's I, who we're gonna prep you from. <laughs> <laughs> I prepped I prepped you for for the copyright if it ever comes. But Ryan, Derek, Luna, thank you guys for taking some time out of your day. I'm gonna put this on YouTube uh, uh, tonight, but it'll air tomorrow morning. But I'll get that link to you. Derek, uh, uh, either through Lizzie or, or or to you sometime late tonight. So, um, but it usually drops pretty early in the morning, unless you would uh, prefer it dropping sometime tomorrow. But uh, thank you guys again for for doing this. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for having. Appreciate us. you yes, for thank having you for us. Having appreciate us. you for letting us on that tournament. I don't know how the hell we won it, but we made it. The fans voted you guys as as the winner. Like we did creating a center winner. That's that's what it was. So many. Images. And on it. I, I didn't. Th I didn't see it happening. You now but get to sit it. back and relax for about three and a half to four months until you go against all sixteen other winners. You guys were number six, so number seven is coming soon. Uh, so it'll probably be a couple of months, but we're gonna invite you back. And that one is hard to win because obviously yeah, everybody right. else has won one before. But it's a lot of fun and it, it's it's good exposure for the band. So I have a blast doing it. But congratulations on winning that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers, guys. You, en enjoy the rest of your day. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. I'm a blabber. <laughs> yeah, have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thanks again. Creating a center. Yeah, hell yeah. Cheers.